In this Excel tutorial, I'm going to show you five great ways to remove duplicates in Excel. And we're going to use non-destructive methods where the original data set is retained and destructive methods where we delete the duplicates from the original data set. After this tutorial, you should be able to delete duplicates safely from any data set that you're working on. And remember, if you want to get the file that you see here, you can download it for free from teachexcel.com. I'll put a link to it below the video. While you're there, make sure to check out our full Excel courses that'll teach you how to automate your processes in Excel. There will also be a link to those courses below this video. Now, the very first example is the simplest way to delete duplicates and we'll get a bit more advanced as we go on. So here we have a nice little data set. We have some duplicates here in the part column as well as the subtype column. What we're going to do is first delete by part type. We can click anywhere in our data set, then go to data and right here, remove duplicates. And what we do here is to select all of the columns by which we would like to check for duplicates. So since I only want to remove duplicate part numbers, I can check part, hit OK, and it removes the duplicates. Let's hit Control Z and now we'll do that running it on part and subtype. So this and this value must be duplicated in order for it to be considered a duplicate. So one of these would be removed, but for ASC-8, we have 57 right here, and then down here, eight. So that would not be removed. We simply click in there, data, remove duplicates. Let's unselect everything, then part and subtype. And okay. And this time it only found one to remove. This is the easiest way to remove duplicates, but it is destructive. However, since we are doing it here in the workbook, not using VBA or macros, we can simply hit control Z to back it up in case we accidentally delete something we don't mean to. And that leads me to my next tip, which is here we are going to sort the data and go through it by hand before deleting. I'm going to turn it into a table to make it a little bit easier. So select your data, control T. My table has headers, okay. And let's filter on part, or let's sort on part. So sort A to Z. Now we have the twos next to each other, the fives, the sevens, and the eights. So I can go through my data set and say, okay, should we be deleting this? Yes or no, yes or no. Let's say I want this one right here, or right click, delete, table, rows. And the entire row is deleted. With small or a very important sensitive data sets, this may be what you want to do. So you're not just letting Excel delete everything for you without you seeing what's being deleted. And this is actually the number one way that I use to check for duplicates and then delete them. Now let's move on to some non-destructive examples. Number one, we are going to be using the unique function. Let me zoom in just a little bit. In newer versions of Excel, we have equals unique. And we can simply select the entire data set, hit enter, and there we go. Any duplicates have been removed, and here we have the entire data set. Now, if you are not in newer versions of Excel, this is going to look a little bit weird, a little bit funky. The data has spilled over into multiple cells, but that's how it works with these new functions. And the beautiful thing is that our original data set is over here and intact, and this does not have to be on the same worksheet. Note that it is checking for the entire row being a duplicate. So let's go down here for eight. We have 57 and eight. Let's make that 57, and we should see this record be removed. And there we go. It is as simple as that. And here is the function. Non-destructive, quick to update, very lightweight. Now let's move on to the next non-destructive method, which is advanced filtering. Click in our data set, then go to data, advanced in the sort and filter section, select copy to another location, unique records only, and copy to, uh, let us delete that. Click this and select where we'd like it to go in the worksheet. How about right here? Enter. Okay. There you go. 
Notice we have many fewer records here than you may have expected from the previous example because we took out the subtype column and that removed a lot of the unique values. In fact, subtype column was added here specifically to make these examples a little bit more helpful. Now let's go to the last example for non-destructive duplicate removal. And what we're going to do here is the power query. We are just going to be scratching the surface of the power that is in that query. <laughs> but what you want to do is to click in your data and then go to a data and then right here from table slash range. If your data set is not set up as a table, it's going to go ahead and turn it into a table. Hit OK. And we get this great little window that's going to help us transform the data and put it into a new location in our workbook. What we want to do here is to select the column on which we want to remove duplicates or multiple by holding control and clicking multiple columns, then home tab, remove rows, remove duplicates. We'll get a preview here of what it's going to look like, and then we can hit close and load. We'll get a new worksheet with the duplicates removed. And if we go over here, let's make some more duplicates. So eight shall become 57 and this shall become 31. Then we can go back over here. The data is not going to automatically update. We have to go to either query, table design, or the data tab and hit refresh. Then our data updates. So we have this data here that is sliced and diced how we want it to be. And it is connected to the original data set over here, which is completely left alone. So you see that you have a lot of options for removing duplicates. And you have even more options if you only want to identify the duplicates. So I hope that I've given you something that can be useful in your workday. Remember, you can download this workbook for free on teachexcel.com. Click the link below the video to get there and make sure to check out our full Excel courses while you are there. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments, please leave them below this video or contact us directly from teachexcel.com and I'd be more than happy to get back to you. And if you like the video, please subscribe, hit the bell icon, give us a thumbs up, and why not share it with a coworker? It will really help us. That's all for this tutorial. See you next time.